What's up, family, friends, and all others? Guys, Better Universe, we're back on it. I've been listening, guys. I've been off the track. I've been off the wagon. I know how you know how it is. We all get burnt out, man. We all we all fit, set things to the side and in pursuit of other things. But uh, today, yesterday, I was listening to this guy and. Uh, he explained it the best. You just got to dominate. There's no such thing as competition anymore, guys. You just got to go out there and you got to dominate. You got to dominate your life. You got to dominate your business. You got to dominate everything, every aspect of your life. Getting after it all the time without rest. Guys, every time you start to fall off, every time you set something down, every time you start to stray your focus this way or that way or uh, lead it towards one thing or the other. You're, you're just breaking it down, guys. You're breaking down your discipline. You're you're starting to move backwards at that point, and that's not the way to do it, guys. I've, I've tried it. I've tried the broke. I've tried living broke. I've tried seeing if it's good. If the, the experiment doesn't work out, guys, the... the to living in you know inside of comfort that's not it doesn't work it doesn't work I've tried it you, you all you do is you get sucked into more and sucked into more and one comfort leads to another and one breaking your discipline of the cycle and it, and it just erodes everything and, that, and before you know it you're looking at yourself and you're and you're depressed all of a sudden again and you're not happy with where you are and what you want to do with your life and you're not unsure of your goals and where you started and what, why you even started so that's the key guys you got to start focusing and you got to start bringing it back you see, we got to start becoming that person without any relentless or any uh any any remorse for who you are and what you want to become i mean guys i understand sometimes there's certain things that you don't want to do that you, you don't feel comfortable doing that you might not feel like pushing this other person to do or to to sign that piece of paper or, or you might not feel like telling them the words that they need to hear to get that self change is to start on the right track but guys you got to start doing that you got to start doing the things that are uncomfortable you got to start dominating guys you you got to fill up that space you got to spread your influence if you got something good to put out put it out there and let as many people hear as possible this is your product your ideas your your motivation your story that's a product guys that's how you're going to sell that's how you're going to get it nobody wants to be a salesperson i get that i understand that but if you have a good enough product, if you give enough value back to somebody, you don't even have to sell it. It'll sell itself. Look at the iPhone, guys. I've got one. I just got a new one. I just got a new one. No one had to sell me on it. I just bought it because I needed it. I needed a certain amount of memory. I needed a certain amount of functionality. And guess what? That's what it gave me. It gave me that functionality. It gave me that value. No one even had to come up to me and tell me to do it because it sells itself. The value is there and everything that it is. So that's what you got to start doing, guys. You got to start dominating you don't want to be you don't want to be second you want to be third you want to be fourth you don't want to compete with this guy or the other you got to be out in front no matter what happens in anything that you do and anything that you take on if it's not important if you're not willing to dominate don't even pick it up don't even start with it don't even try it it's not even a big deal just set it to the side sure some people might ridicule you for whatever or what reason or why and what and who cares guys it's not their opinion it's your life it's yours, not only yours. And that's the only thing that matters. You got to keep that in your mind. You got to see that picture, that why, what it ever is. You got to grab it, whatever it is, whatever your dream is, whatever your, whatever your main goal, your objective. We all have a main goal. We have all have that dream and that purpose. And if you don't, you need to formulate one now. Whether it's to provide for your family and your kids and your wife and and everyone else, and that means something to you in your life, or to change the world. Or for me, I'm not sugarcoating sure anything anymore. For me, the ultimate is enlightenment. You have to reach enlightenment in all forms, in the mind, the body, the emotion, and the energy, the consciousness. And then I want to build a self-sustaining energy generator based on a Sri Antra meditation device, guys. That is a huge ultimate goal. Seems out of reach, seems impossible, but who the hell cares? It's not for you to judge me on what I'm going to do. It's for me to judge me on what I'm going to do, guys. You have to build the values you have to live the values you have to be that person now you your dreams they might be far off into some you know fairy tale land but right now you have to embody the values that it's going to take to be that person in the future i I've, I've been off the track i've fallen off guys i've done what i've done but now there's no sense in looking back 
you got to just get in it. You just got to dominate. You got to take it all in, no matter what. Sure, some people are going to criticize you guys. Anytime you do anything, you're going to have some kind of criticism. Somebody is going to be a naysayer. Somebody is going to tell you you're not doing the right thing. But you know, you inside know. I don't care what you guys think. If you guys think I'm crazy, maybe I am crazy. Maybe the things I want to do are crazy. Maybe, maybe my ideas are so far off and so esoteric that you just hit unsubscribe, hit delete, and move on your way but that's fine guys that doesn't matter what matters is me what matters is my ideas inside of me then that's what matters for you your why your your purpose what you see every night what you dream upon those are the things that matters guy so you got to get on that horse you got to get on that track if you fall off you got to get back on don't take too long because the longer you wait the farther you fall down that mountain I've fallen down the mountain a little bit I didn't fall all the way back down, but I've definitely fallen back. Now it's time to start that climb to the top. And not in just one thing, not in a better universe, not just in Viseo, not just in my nine to five or whatever, whatever you want to call that, my job or my trainer position or you got to dominate in everything, guys. You got to dominate in your relationships. You got to dominate in your body. You got to dominate in your spiritual aspect, your meditation, whatever it is, put it down, make it a priority. We only get the things that are priorities to us the only things that we decide to dominate is what we get guys so focus keep that focus find out what's inside guys i'm pumped up i'm amped up i'm ready to take it on all day every day now sure that feeling's gonna fade i might have to come back to this i might have to find this inside again but it's it's left before and i brought it back and it's left before and i brought it back and every time the cycle gets longer, and every time I dig a little deeper, you just can't be broken by it, guys. That breaking point is the turning point. It's not a breaking point, it's a turning point. Most people just break under it. I've broken. I've done it. We've all broke, guys. We've all broke at that turning point where we thought it was just too much. And we just let it go. And before you know it, you let one thing go. And you let another, and then another, and another, and then it all falls apart, guys. And then you're right back to square one. Maybe not square one, but you're a little further ahead. But if you had just kept going, if you just kept grinding out, you just kept fighting inch for inch, guys, you'd be way further ahead than you are now. Now, I'm pretty generic and general with what I'm saying right now as far as everything goes, but it's a, it's a philosophy that you have to have, guys. You have to... You have to rep it out. You have to get every single out of it. You have to hit failure every single time that you're trying. You either hit failure or you hit success. That's the only two options. You don't hit that gray area and think, well, I'm doing all right. I might be this or that. No. You just keep grinding. You just keep hitting. Failure or success. That's it. You hit failure, you learn. You move on. You change your tactics, you try again. You hit failure again, you move. You try. You change your tactics. You move on. You hit failure again, you move, you try, you change your tactics, you move on. Bam! Success. Maybe. Who knows? You might have to fail a hundred fucking times. Thomas Edison failed a thousand. Are you willing to fail a thousand? Are you willing to fail that many times to get what you want? Because if you're not willing to fail that many times, it's probably not what you really want in life. You gotta find out what you want, guys. You gotta find it. If it's not there, if it's not driving you, if it's not making you wake up early, if it's not getting you amped up, just thinking about it right now, if you don't have a vision for it, you're fucked up. You're done. I'm not sugarcoating anything anymore. I didn't sugarcoat it much before, but now it's time. Sure, we've all said it before, now it's time. But you gotta find it. You gotta be willing. You gotta understand that there's no turning back. Like, sure, I'm on this path and there's no turning back, but every time, that I settle for something other than an outcome that I desire. That's turning it back. Every time I settle for a nap versus whatever else I should be doing, I'm turning back the clock. There's no gray areas, guys. That's what it is. This is maximum better universe. I want you to get after it. I want you to get your dreams. I'm intense right now. Out of love. Out of love for you and me and everybody to get their dreams done because there's something way greater on the other side. If you think your dream is a hundred grand and you get to your dream, you're gonna find out you got a lot bigger plans for yourself. So I want you to achieve those dreams, whatever those goals, whatever they might be, because once you get to them, you're gonna find something, you need something higher. You need something more. You need something more purposeful, more meaningful, more fulfilling. 
and it might take you to get to that million dollar mark before you say, well, the money's not really what I, what I was thinking about. So I'm passionate and I want you to get after it. That's why I'm so intense right now. So I know if I, I fail right now, I fail for everybody. Because my ideas are going to change the world. Are yours? This is Max from A Better Universe. Peace, homies.